Welcome back, everyone. It is Sunday sit-down time. You can see we're on location and joined by a special guest, Desiree Reed Francois, making your Sunday sit-down debut. Thanks for making some time for us. Desiree. Thank you for being here. Isn't this a great facility? This is amazing. I love I love the scenic view we have for Sunday yeah. sit-down. Right? <laughs> right? Yes. Does this ever get old? Seeing what you guys built here? Oh my gosh! You know, it's really been outstanding. It's been a game changer for us. Right. Yeah. Well, you guys have had an exciting year. I mean, we were just talking before we sat down here, all the way dating back to January. Just the exciting things that have been happening. I got to talk about the Cotton Bowl. That's what everyone's talking oh. about. Yeah, How so excited sorry. were you to see that come out? You know, um, it was it was really special. We were in the football building, and so we got to share it with our student athletes and to see their just pure excitement and joy um, and know how hard they worked, how hard Eli and his entire staff worked. Um, it was really special. Mm -hmm. What has it been like for you to, to watch this football season unfold? You know, a lot uh, before the season, I, Eli was saying in that bowl game press conference, people didn't know if they'd make a bowl game, and now they far surpass those expectations. What's it been like for you to see that? Um, it's been really magical. Uh, I remember the Kansas State game, and I'm on the field, and I always go down for the fourth quarter, and, and I want to make sure and greet Eli uh, when he comes off off the field, but also the student athletes, right? No matter what the outcome, I'm always down there, and I and you, we were excited, we we're excited, and then we're like, oh gosh, and then all of a sudden we go and we hit that and we hit that 61 yarder kick, and and the fans just come down on the field, and and I must admit, like I just. Andy Lutz, who is our football operations director, he and I both hugged each other, and my husband um, was laughing. He's like, because I have, you two of all people are not the two people that I would expect would have tears rolling down your face, but we both did. Andy's going to really be annoyed that he, that I told that, but it's true, and I just, it was so special to, f to feel that moment and see everyone just so happy and joyful, um, and to be able, be a part of that, um, yeah, I, I just, it was magical. Did that feel like a big jumping point for the season? Like when I feel like I've talked to people that said when I saw that game, I knew this this was going to be something special. It really felt like a turning point. Mm -hmm. And I remember the night before it was a Friday, and we dedicated this building. Um, and I, I gave some remarks, and and I gave Eli a hug, and and I and I talked about the first time that I ever met him, mm -hmm. and it was actually on my son's recruiting recruiting visit for um, for basketball, and we ran into to Coach Drinkowitz, and and I talked about how he just makes has this wonderful ability to bring people together um, and it was just it's genuine so I, I was really enthused and I kind of traced back that, that moment all the way through opening this building and then the next day and it was just this wonder wonderful confluence of events well Eli winning you know SEC coach of the year oh you also gosh. had another SEC coach of the year Don Sullivan you know obviously you knew Don prior to this kind of tell me what that meant to, to you to see her have this kind of success go to the NCAA tournament again in her first season here uh, I'm really thankful that you don't see this video that uh, so coach Gates we had a, a watch party you know, right. and candidly we were a little bit nervous mm -hmm. because we were a little bit on the bubble uh, oh you were there yes yes right and so I was a little nervous right. and uh, so we go in there and um, and Dennis came coach Gates came to and and he was standing behind me and it was Don to my left and I was to the right and the team was all in front and so we got a chance to see their reaction um, but Dennis filmed filmed Don and, and I and so when they called our name and thankfully they called it early yes they did right away right, right. that was a relief because <laughs> like, oh I've been at that space where you're like waiting and waiting right. and waiting even like men's basketball last mm -hmm. year we were kind of waiting for waiting a little while right? yeah <laughs> and uh, and so here's me jumping up and down like a, a lunatic um, but I was just so excited and it was just pure emotion and I was just so proud of her um, and I had a young lady uh, on that team she said you know this is I, I love my sport again and she came up to me and she thanked me for that and I said don't thank me thank coach Sullivan um, and thank everybody around this program and Dawn similar to Eli and Dennis and so many of our and all of our coaches um, really cares about her student athletes and and caring about them as people. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come, when you came to Mizzou, I want to jump back to when you first came. You know, what is, I guess it's 27 months ago-ish <laughs> now, that. right? Like, uh, does it yeah. feel like that's flown by for you? It, it really has. <laughs> it's, yeah, we finished three foot three full football seasons. Like, wow. When you come here and you kind of looked around, what was the biggest thing that you felt like, you know, I want I want to grow this area of Mizzou and what do you feel like you've done to do that so far? Um, well, it really starts with your people mm -hmm. and you want to win within. You want to get um, the right people in the right spaces. Um, you want to create belief 
belief in not only kind of what we're where we're going, but belief in one another, belief in themselves, kind of build some confidence. Um, and then it, it's about execution, and then a constant evolution. Whether it's name, image, and likeness, whether it's facilities like this, whether it's hiring the right coaches, um, putting the excellence around your program uh, is critically important. But it, it started with it. It always is going to be about about your people, and so I'm proud of the culture that we're building, and the results are flowing from that. Mm -hmm. Whether it's attendance, um, whether it's Tiger Scholarship donors, uh, Tiger Scholarship fund donors, um, but just. It's a privilege. I went on my first caravan um, last spring, or I'm sorry, two springs ago, and we went on something like 27 stops. Mm -hmm. And I really got to know um, people, whether it was Adrian, Missouri, or St. Louis, or Memphis, Kansas City, and people in between. Um, we haven't been to Festus yet, or uh, Farmington yet, but that's coming. And, uh, it, and what was really special was that how much people care about Mizzou and I thought we've got to do a great job because we're not just doing this for the folks within the athletic department but our whole state can rally around Mizzou athletics if we do a great job mm -hmm. um, so I it's a privilege to be able to impact student athletes lives during a critical point in in their maturation from eight I mean from 18 to 22 mm -hmm. that's a massive privilege and I'm a teacher at heart um, I love students like that that brings me absolute joy is my students um, but I also recognize that we have an incredible responsibility to our entire state to do a great job so we can bring people together and galvanize them when you look at where things are at right now what do you want the maybe the next step to be for, for this athletic program we want to continue um, on this forward trajectory mm -hmm. we um, we've made a lot of great progress uh, and I say we because we have an incredible team. I get a lot more credit than I deserve. Mm -hmm. um, I get it, but I have incredible people around, or we have incredible people around us. And I want to continue building that, that culture of selfless, smart, hard workers, people that are values driven, people that are student athlete focused, and people that aren't ashamed to say, hey, you know what? We have championship expectations, mm -hmm. and we do. Participation trophies aren't enough. Right. Well, when you look at competing in the SEC, I think multiple teams on campus have shown that Mizzou compete, can compete in the Absolutely. SEC, right? You know, what do you feel like is maybe, you talk about next steps, what do you feel like is maybe the next step there that you're hoping to see? Um, well, we want championships to be the norm. Mm -hmm. And when you have coaches that are earning SEC coaches of the year, that's a really big deal, right? That's not only... Um, that means that they're so respected by their peers in this conference, and this conference is the Apex Conference. Mm -hmm. We're the most competitive conference in the country. Um, and to be respected by your peers and voted on that, I think that's just really a, a sign of respect, but a sign of the forward progress. And I was just really proud to see them um, noted like that. But we're going to continue um, making sure that our fan we listen to our fans. Mm -hmm. We send out a lot of surveys. Mm -hmm. But every, every Monday in our senior staff meeting, we go over those surveys results um, and make sure that we can adjust on the fly. And we're going to continue to do that. We want every year our fans to notice some, some new improvement that we've done. Uh, we're enthused about yesterday we met and we are in the process of set, selecting an architect engineering firm mm -hmm. uh, for the new, new, new North End Zone project. I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. There'll be some great fan amenities and we want to keep enhancing that experience. Right. Next year you'll see a new video board uh, and football we put in do you like the black seats I do love them I have to say I walked in my immediate those are clean <laughs> Clean, I like it. All right, that is very cool. Clean, excellent. Um, and the new video board, and like, like I said, we just want our fans to always feel like we're continuing to improve, and that's mm -hmm. what momentum is, right? Like momentum, you just have to keep raising that bar, and and all of a sudden you look back and you're like, hey, we've accomplished a few things. Mm -hmm. Well, when you look at facilities like this one, we're sitting in the, the new North End Zone coming. You look at the black seats. What do those mean in, in competing in the SEC, like we're talking about? Yeah, we got to keep raising the bar, right. right? We're in the recruiting business, and. And we want our not only our fans to, to kind of feel that this is a place of excellence, uh, but also our, our current student athletes. Uh, I can't control what goes on um, in the swimming pool, on the field, in the, on the courts. Um, and even though I cheer incredibly loud and I get really <laughs> excited. Um, but 
what we can do is provide excellence around our programs. Mm -hmm. So, and also we, we were able to do with football moving out of Divine, we went and we kind of gutted Divine, we mm -hmm. put in new turf, and so now softball and baseball and soccer have, an, uh, have a year-round facility they can use too. And so that made an impact on those three sports too. Mm -hmm. well, when you look at college athletics, the biggest thing I feel like we've seen is NIL. It's, it's changed college athletics. You know, how do you feel like the things Missouri has done has helped make you guys competitive in that market? <laughs> the I'm really appreciative of the governor and the right. legislature. Um, our law has, you know, been advantageous. Mm -hmm. uh, there, whenever you have a massive change like name, image, and likeness, you are going to have bumps and bruises and challenges along the way, mm -hmm. and you're going to have a little bit of chaos. But through chaos, can also provide some opportunity. And so we were able to work with our legislature and create um, a competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. it, and you know, I know some people don't like name, image, and likeness. I'm the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it because it provides for our student athletes. Mm -hmm. And it, why wouldn't I want to be able to help our student athletes? And that's what NIL does. Uh, it also is so interesting to hear students talk about brands now. And so like way back when, we used to have to, you know, you go and you meet with every team at the beginning of the year. Right. And I used to talk about the New York Times test. Mm -hmm. And, you know, don't put anything out there on your social media unless you're comfortable with your grandmother reading it on the front page of the New York Times. Mm -hmm. Now, they all are like excited about their, and we partnered with the J school, we partnered mm -hmm. with the law school to be able to really innovatively provide not only educational efforts and branding opportunities, but training mm -hmm. that I think will, will benefit, I know, will benefit our student athletes long term. Well, President Moon Choi, I know he's been a big part of all of this development. It's so rare that I see, you know, presidents out on the fields every football game. I see him in almost every basketball Isn't he game. Amazing? He's everywhere. You know, he what is. does it get to like to work, get to work with him? Oh my gosh. He is, <laughs> um, he is absolutely outstanding. Mm -hmm. And it, like I said, I get way more credit than I deserve, mm -hmm. but President Choi, um, Curator Williams, mm -hmm. uh, he was our board chair. I'm looking forward to working with, working with Curator Winokur and have worked with her, mm -hmm. um, and she's gonna be our upcoming chair. But President Choi's energy, his intellect, his care, mm -hmm. and his values-based um, leadership is inspiring. Mm -hmm. uh, he's this engineer, genuinely loves people, loves sports, and um, really appreciates kind of the benefits that a successful athletic program can bring to the overall university. So I could not be more privileged to work for President Choi. Well, I'm sure he's excited. I know you're excited to go down to the Cotton Bowl. What's the Cotton Bowl week look like for uh, Mizzou Athletics? <laughs> it is going to be nonstop. Great. We have nonstop <laughs> activities and events, and uh, but it's just going to be a celebration. It's going to be a celebration of football. It's going to be a celebration of the accomplishments that this team has had. And then we've got a really exciting competitive game um, against Ohio State. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate you making some time with us. I know it's a hectic time of year for you, so I appreciate you some time. Oh, well, thank you. And I, we just got back from seeing Jeremy Macklin um, inducted yes. into the National Football Foundation Hall, or College Football Hall of Fame. And when I was listening to Jeremy speak and, you know, having dinner with him and talking about his experience, mm -hmm. it, it's just really special. So thank you for allowing me to spend time with you today. Yes, awesome. For the rest of you guys, we'll be right back after the break. Thank <laughs> you.